Welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. So, there have been a lot of blasters that have been released over the years. Tons upon tons of blasters, and each of them serve a purpose. Love it or hate it, you have to admit to yourself that the most important blaster ever released is the Jolt. This blaster revolutionized the way that Nerf functions to this very day. It was released back in the N-Strike series, and since then, you couldn't tell, but it has had no upgrades or modifications since its original release in the N-Strike series, all the way up to the orange Elite XD one that you can purchase to this day. This one is the Elite Blue version, and it again is exactly the same as the original N-Strike release. This blaster introduced the direct plunger and showed, demonstrated, that size does not matter. This tiny little blaster hits as hard as any big blaster, at least unmodified, and that is a very big deal, especially when this little thing has held up to this very day. The Jolt is an amazing blaster, and while I don't consider it the best blaster ever made, I do really regard it as a highly important blaster. It is a very important blaster, and the Jolt is a very good blaster. You should have one of these. Now that's out of the way. I love this blaster. I respect this blaster. Hasbro does not. <sighs> because they released this. This is the worst blaster ever made. And I'm going to warn you right now, this is going to be an angry review. So the Elite 2.0 Ace, a blaster that tries to be the Jolt, an insulting attempt. And I will explain all the reasons why you shouldn't buy this blaster, but first, we're gonna start with the design. It looks awful. I hate this design. And the reason why is because they added so much extra plastic to a blaster that doesn't need it. Look at how thick the grip is and how thick, look how thick the blaster is for absolutely no reason. There's the barrel. That is as thick as the blaster needs to be, but yet they added all this extra plastic onto it for no reason. The Jolt works because it's so tiny. It uses its mechanics to its advantage. The plunger tube is the grip. The barrel is the trigger guard. They take the blaster's like primary functions and use them to their advantage to make the perfect teeny tiny like little Calibri pistol style blaster. This thing just adds more plastic, because it can. Not because it needs it, but just because it can. The only thing I actually like about the design is the fact that they have these little racing stripe looking things on it. I think it looks really cool and it makes the blaster look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but for the most part, this blaster just doesn't look very good in person. It looks incredibly dumb. And on the other side, it's just a solid blue mass of plastic. There's no paint, there's no detail, there's nothing. There's not even a Nerf logo etched into it for you to paint over. It's all warning labels. And take it as you will, you could say, oh, they have to put the warning labels on the blaster. They managed to put the Nerf logo on the original Jolt and squeeze the warning labels onto the side of the barrel. But for some reason, they couldn't even do that when this one is substantially bigger and substantially worse looking. Now let's get on to the ergonomics. Worst grip ever. Worst grip ever. This is the worst. There is no blaster in there's no blaster in this whole collection that I would rather just just I, I hate this grip. This is an awful grip. This is the most horribly insulting grip I've ever seen in my life. Let me explain why. Look at it. What in the hell are you supposed to do here? They have this stupid ridge that sticks out that makes it so only two fingers can fit. Like, what do you do with your pinky? You're supposed to hold it out like you're a freaking fancy cup of tea looking person. I've had, I'm having a wonderful day here. Yes, yes, thank you for your, thank you for your assistance. 
Oh my goodness, I'm feeling so fancy today. Why is it like this? Because they made this stupid trigger guard too big. Remember the stupid trigger guard I mentioned earlier? That actually causes issues with the blaster's functionality. Because the trigger guard is so big that you can easily fit two fingers inside of it. But because of the way that this stupid angled trigger is made, you are meant to only have one finger in the trigger guard. They have this large primary style trigger guard in this tiny blaster, which doesn't work because no matter how you hold it, you got one finger that doesn't have anywhere to go. So what do I end up doing? Holding the blaster like this! I'm not even making this up. I pull the trigger with my middle finger. I've never flipped off the audience before. I'm flipping off this stupid blaster because this grip does not need to exist. Let's take a look at the jolt again. Look at this grip. I don't like the jolts grip, but it is 50 million times better because the trigger guard isn't too big and it has places for your other three fingers. Hey look, it's the same ridge from earlier, but they actually make it into a finger troil. Once again, using the blaster's primary and mandatory functions to its advantage. So how does this blaster work? You front load a single dart and it sticks out too far. Then you pull the T-pole down and you can fire once. Hope you know that the zombie target's right there. And you heard how long it took to get to the target. We'll get to that in a moment. But here's the one thing that this blaster actually does better than the jolt. The T-pole is a little bit bigger than the jolt. I think that the T-pole on the jolt is a little bit too small for some people's hands, and it can be a little bit difficult to get a good grip on it to pull it down. But then again, it doesn't really matter since this is just an emergency pistol. With all that said, I think that the T-pole on the Ace is a little bit better, and it has these ergonomic ridges around it to make it a lot easier to grip onto. So good on you, Hasbro. You got one thing out of 500 correct. Now let's talk about performance. So you remember how at the very beginning of this video I said that the Jolt revolutionized Nerf as a hobby because it provided a ton of power into a tiny little blaster like this? This thing takes that legacy and has shit all over it. This thing shoots like it's nobody's freaking business. Firing demo. I'm gonna shoot six starts. Actually no, I'm gonna shoot five and I'm gonna shoot one out of the Jolt just so you can see the performance difference. This, this grip is so painful. It is awful. It is awful. It actually hurts. It's worse than the Hades pump grip. Okay, no. no. Look at this ridge on the back. It's digging into my hand. Now one with the jolt. It is so obvious how much harder this is hitting that you can hear the difference. It didn't even make it to the target. Well, with an angle it does. The target is 15 feet away. I can throw the blaster harder than it can shoot. I don't do angry reviews often because most of the time blasters can have merit. My last video was on this one, and that I would consider an angry review because of the fact that the blaster ships broken to about one third of the people. But at least with that one, you have the ability to fix it, and when fixed, it will perform better than this could ever dream. This blaster has nothing. There is nothing good about it. The only thing that is somewhat decent is the T-pole, and even then, the T-pole isn't even that good. It is, it is made like crap. There's spruce sticking out all over the place. It wasn't molded properly. It was molded like they didn't care. This whole blaster was designed like they didn't care. And they didn't. They really didn't. There's no way that any care or love or effort was put into this like it was put into the original Jolt. This blaster is insulting. It is horrible. 
It is a terrible replacement for the Jolt. An unworthy one, to say the least. It is the worst blaster in my whole collection. Worse than the Mantis. Worse than the Deploy. Worse than everything I have here. Worse than the worst Ultra Blaster that you could possibly imagine. Even an Ultra Jolt would have more merit because an Ultra Jolt you would be able to open, modify, and at least in its stock form could shoot harder than 20 feet per second. I calculated this with a chrono barrel at 20 feet per second. And I know the chrono barrel isn't that accurate, but what's the difference? 20 FPS or 60 to mid 60s FPS out of the freaking jolt. There is no comparison at all. There is literally no reason to buy this. This blaster is insulting. This blaster is pointless. I don't think anyone anywhere in the planet asked for this thing to exist. And if you really need any more reason as to not buy this, Ollie's right now has about 50 million blue jolts in stock, or at least mine does. And if you can find a jolt anywhere, which you can, buy this one instead. What can you do? One, buy a jolt. Two, buy a jolt. Three, buy a freaking jolt. Get this one. This one is good. The ace is not. The ace is a horrible blaster. The only, the, like, the only thing that I can almost say is good about it is the fact that I only wasted five of my own dollars on it. I didn't have to waste more money than five dollars. But that is five dollars that I will never get back. Because this blaster, I will never use it. I will use a jolt. I will never touch it. I will always play with this jolt. This is a good blaster. The jolt is a good one. Even if the spring wears down and the blaster isn't like the most reliable thing on the planet. <coughs> It is so much better than the Ace in every single possible regard that I could possibly think of. Like even its size, it's smaller than the Ace. It doesn't have that stupid ring thing on the top for no reason. Oh, it's the dart storage. No, it's not. You can't put a dart in there and have it hold reliably. It just looks ridiculous. This is a good streamlined, well-designed, well-taken-care-of blaster. Nerf knows how good the Jolt is, that's why they keep bringing it back over and over and over and over and over. Because people want it. People enjoy it. It's a good blaster. It's tried and true, like the Strife. And the Ace is like the Phoenix, a blaster that nobody likes, nobody cares about, nobody wanted, nobody asked for, but still, exists if you have lost your mind and you want to pick up an ace i will link it in the description below but i will also link a jolt in the description below because you should not be buying an ace you should be buying a jolt so with that said thanks for watching bye